friends! Today we are going to talk about rockets. And for us to start our activities, we are going to read a book about rockets first. Are you ready? Let's go! How to Catch a Star by Oliver Jeffers Once there was a boy, and the boy loved stars very much. Every night, the boy watched the stars from his window and wished he had one of his very own. He dreamed how this star might be his friend. They would play hide-and-go-seek and take long walks together. The boy decided he would try to catch a star. He thought that getting up early in the morning would be best, because then the star would be tired from being up in the sky all night. So the next day, he set out at sunrise, but he could not see a star anywhere. He sat down and waited for one to appear. And waited. And waited. And ate lunch. And waited. And after dinner, he waited some more. Finally, just before the sun was about to go away, he saw a star. The boy tried to jump up and grab it, but he could not jump high enough. So very carefully, he climbed to the top of the tallest tree he could find. But the star was still way out of reach. He thought he might lasso the star with the life belt from his father's boat. But it was much too heavy for him to carry. He thought he could fly up in his spaceship and just grab the star. But his spaceship had run out of petrol last Tuesday when he flew to the moon. Perhaps he could get a seagull to help him fly up into the sky to reach his star. But the only seagull he could find didn't want to help at all. The boy thought he would never catch a star. Just then, he noticed something floating in the water. It was the prettiest star he had ever seen. Just a baby star. It must have fallen from the sky. He tried to fish the star out with his hands, but he couldn't reach it. Then he had an idea. The star might watch up on the shore. He ran back along the jetty to the beach. Then he waited and walked and watched and waited. And sure enough, the star washed up on the bright golden sand. The boy had caught a star, a star of his very own. Hello! Do you remember when we played a game that we had to trace a line for the tractor to get to the other side of the road? We need to do the same thing today, but with the rocket. The rocket needs to get to the star. Remember that we read on the book? So you have one two, three, four, five, six different rockets and we need to trace the line from the rocket to the stars. How many stars do we have here? We have one, two, three, four, five, six. We have one star for each rocket so we need to trace the line. Can you help me with that? Let's start with the orange. 
Let's help the rocket to get to the star. Slowly, slowly, slowly. We are almost there. We are almost there. We are almost there. We got to the star. <laughs> okay, now the purple. Okay, can you try to do the purple? It's a little bit different. It goes up and down. Can you help me? Okay, one, two, three. Down. And up and down and up and down and up and down and up again and down and up to the star well done now which one is the next one the next one is the red so can we do it with the red okay let's try one two three Oh, he got to the star. Thank you so much for your help. Now the next one is the green. Oh, the green goes like this. Just like my hair, right? <laughs> Can we do it? One, two, three. Oh, looping. Got to the star. <laughs> I think the astronaut got a little dizzy with this one. Okay, now the yellow. Okay. Let's do with the yellow then. Start with the rocket and go all the way. <laughs> we got it. It was just like the red one, but on the opposite side, right? Now, the last one, the blue one. Can we do it? It's exactly the same with the, with the purple. But that we start going up. Up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, and down. We did it. We got to the star. We helped the six rockets to get their six stars. Thank you so much for your help. Do you think you can do it? If you can, then show me, okay? Thank you.